This brings back memories. takes me back. takes me back. Feels like just yesterday. This brings back memories. What's the matter? Are you all right? Maybe a fit. I can't breathe. Got it. Just hold on. Don't move. No. Stop. Don't call an ambulance. I can't afford it. This isn't the time for that. You could die. Even if I survived this, I'd just be as soon dead. If those thieving debt collectors come after me... Damn it. Then what should I do? 
If he's refusing an ambulance, how can I help him? Should I look for a hospital nearby? But what are the chances of finding a hospital in the heart of Kamurocho? Hmm? Wait a minute. Aren't we right near? That's right. Emoto Medical Clinic. Home to Kamurocho's best physician. Who treat this guy for free. It's been ages since we first met. Wouldn't matter if all society turned its back on you. Doc Emoto doesn't refuse anyone in need. I respect the man. Good to know he's still kicking. Hang in there, all right? I'm gonna get you to a doctor. Doc, sorry to barge in. It's an emergency. Huh? Where is Dr. Emoto? I'm Dr. Emoto, but if you're looking for my father, he's out currently. I'm sure he'll be back soon. Then you must be. But didn't you just say there's an emergency? Oh, let's not waste time chatting. What's the situation? Can the patient move on his own? A homeless man collapsed. He's having some sort of attack. He's on the street right now and won't take an ambulance. Understood. This kind of thing is fairly typical. My apologies, but I'll need your help carrying him in. Is he all right now? <sighs> yes, he's fine. He's actually one of my father's patients. This tends to happen from time to time. Though, this time around, it was your intervention that ended up saving him. Huh. That's a relief. So how is the old doctor these days? Well, the years have taken their toll. A fact that's more noticeable lately. Were you a patient of my father's? No, I'm not exactly. Huh? What's going on here? He injured? He collapsed after having another attack. Seems he ran out of the meds you prescribed. That gentleman over there made me aware of the situation, so we were able to prevent a disaster. Ah, oh, I see. Thank you. And I'm sure he'd like to personally extend his thanks when he comes to. No, there's no need for that. I've got to head out soon. Earlier, it sounded as though you knew my father personally. Well, I've heard a few things here and there, but it was quite a while ago. Hmm... Did you hear good things or bad things? All good things. <laughs> well, I suppose I should thank my lucky stars. So, you run this clinic with your daughter now? Hell no. This is my clinic. She's just a busybody who barges in whenever she feels like it. Taken after me was 100% her idea. True, I was never asked, but someone has to keep this place running. No matter what my dad says. I've told him he can retire any time, but he absolutely refuses to settle down. Uh, what's wrong? Uh, no, no, my, my apologies. For a second, I mistook you for someone I knew way back when. Come to think of it, I heard he died a few years ago. He was a legend among the Yakuza here in Kamrocho. You don't say. Huh. <laughs> that voice. You even sound just like him. But I guess that's downright impossible. To think... I almost accused a friend of faking his own death all those years ago. Preposterous. Yeah. Unfortunately, you've got the wrong guy. I'm just passing through. Right. But I did haunt Kamurocho often in the past. I've heard a lot about you. In a town that only cares about money and women, there's a doctor who'll help anybody in need. A man of great character. Ha. <laughs> 
Well, that's pretty exaggerated. But it's nice to know that I'm a trusted physician. What's with this heavy atmosphere? You two can just tell me if I'm in the way. Oh, that's not it. I'm going on break. You guys, take your time. It must be reassuring to know you have a reliable successor. She grew up following in your footsteps. One look at her, and you can tell how strong-willed she is. Isn't that the truth? Once my daughter makes up her mind, it's her way or the highway. Huh. But that's the right attitude to have when running a clinic like this. And patients seem to prefer being treated by her rather than an old grouch like me. <laughs> These days, all anyone ever seems to ask me is when I'm gonna retire. That's a shame. Damn straight. It only gets me even more fired up. At this rate, I'll be a doctor until my dying day. <laughs> Those ungrateful patients can't get rid of me yet. It was good to see you, Doc Emoto. As someone who treats the injured and infirm, I can't exactly ask you to come again soon. But I'm here for you. Even if you're guarding secrets, you can trust me. Doctor-patient confidentiality, you know. <laughs> Thanks. I might just take you up on that offer. Times have changed, and even the Tojo clan is long gone. But some things never change. <laughs> Looks like I'm still no match for you, Dakimoto. That's nostalgic. This brings back memories.
Feels like just yesterday. Takes me back. Feels like just yesterday. Remember this.
That takes me back. That's nostalgic. takes me back. This brings back memories. <laughs> the Champion District, huh? Thinking back on it, old man Komaki used to train me here and over in West Park. West Park's been gone ever since Kamurocho Hills went up. But this place hasn't changed a bit. I swear, from kicking you while you're down to unfair matchups, even full on shotgun blasts, Komaki knew how to dish it out. His methods might have been a little unorthodox, sure, but I also learned a lot from him. He was pretty aged last time we met, too. Hope he's still doing okay. Yo! The hell you think you're doing here, Gramps? Yeah, bro, this is our territory. What, you deaf or something, huh? No, actually, I didn't. And I'm pretty sure no one else did either. The hell'd you say? All right, fine then. It's beatdown time. Oh, boy. You're dead meat, old timer. Sorry about it. Now, hang on. I'm a nice enough guy. Tell you what, you leave your cash with us, and we'll let you go. Sound fair? Micha! What a guy! I don't have time for this. Hold it! You fucking with us? 
And after I was all generous and shit? And shit is a good way to describe it. Man, shut up! Alright, fine! Guess we'll just kill you then! Let's beat him down! Allow me. Let's get it done! No begging for her! That the mouth of yours is trouble. Better learn to shut it, or the next guy might not be so nice. We're so sorry! <laughs> well, aren't you a sight? No doubt you fought your share of battles, hmm? Hey, uh, nice to meet you. Forgive me, but have we met? Hmm. I see. Live long enough, and you're bound to have a secret or two. <laughs> Sorry, it seems I was mistaken. <laughs> Just, well, you look very similar to an old pupil of mine. But that was long ago, of course. Hmm, is that right? The name's Sotaro Komaki, master of the Komaki school. I teach martial arts here in town, and have for quite some time. So, you new here? <laughs> Come out this way on a trip or something? Oh, no, just here running an errand. I'll be leaving soon. Ah. Then, while I have you, any interest in becoming my pupil? Fair chance, you'll improve your skills 100 times over. <laughs> you know, had you asked me when I was younger, I might have taken you up on that. Unfortunately, I've got other things on my plate right now. Sorry. Sure. Can't argue there. Well then, at least give ear to the ramblings of an old man. <laughs> For years now, I've taught martial arts to anyone willing. From ambitious youth, to aimless drifter. Among them was a strong, kind man with a fist to match even mine. And though he never spoke of them, his scars were selfless ones. Intriguing as he was, I considered him my number one pupil. He even went on to influence my other students as well. Perhaps it was what you might call charisma. Of all those who came and went, he was the only one who had it. Now then, much to my dismay, my pupils tell me he's already passed away. Nevertheless, I sometimes dream of giving lessons to him once more, just as I had in West Park with all the homeless. Listen, truth is, I don't have much time left. So can I ask you a favor? There's something I'd like to do before I die. And what's that? I'd like to round things off. One final fight, a duel for the ages. Who better than my number one pupil? Oh, uh, uh, forgive me, a man that looks <laughs> like him, I mean. So how about it? Help an old man out? I can do that. I may not be your pupil, but I'll give it my all. <laughs> well then, I hope you don't mind if I do the same. In the name of true strength, Sotaro Komaki answers the call! Sotaro Komaki shall bring it on. down! Here we go. Allow me. 
You are but a fledgling. Here we go. <laughs> Allow me. Here we go. Allow me. Here we go. Allow me. My heart. How was that, old man? My, you are something. Really, you don't have much time. You're way tougher than anyone else out here. <laughs> it's been a good while since I got to go all out. No other pupil of mine's ever had what it takes. Anyhow, it seems I've nothing left to teach you. Maybe you're still mistaken, but can I tell you something? What's that? Guess the Komaki school's got a lot of students these days. No doubt they're all learning the same lessons I did. I learned a lot from old man Komaki, and not just techniques. <laughs> In fact, I'm still learning from him every day. Keep on keeping on, old man. takes me back.
This brings back memories. Feels like just yesterday. takes me back. This brings back memories. takes me back.
This brings back memories. Feels like just yesterday. Hey, pocket circuit racing. Hmm. <laughs> Neat. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I'll race you to the pocket circuit stadium. Really? Pocket Circuit Stadium. Kamurocho actually has one again. Ah, Pocket Circuit. <laughs> Those little radio-controlled race cars. It's a surprisingly deep hobby, competing against others on elaborate racetracks. There was a time I was the fastest Pocket Circuit racer in Kamurocho, taking on all comers. I got to know the kids who frequented the place through racing and modding our cars together. And <laughs> I even formed a lasting friendship with a pocket circuit fighter that managed our location. Last time I saw him was back in Onomichi. Hope he's doing all right. Stop being so annoying. Let me play how I want, fighter. Hmm? But that customization you put together won't work, Kojiro-kun. Try these tires instead. They'll give you more friction on turns. Come on, use them just once, buddy. For me? Knock it off! The tires I have are the best. They're purple. Purple's cool, but the color doesn't make it race better. Don't you want to stay on the track? No, shut up already! Fighter, you suck! Let's go find something to do at the park. Yeah, this is dumb, Yasukun. Aw, mm. just give it a little more time. It's fun. Not again. Jeez, I can't get these kids to listen. Oh well, better clean up. Whoa! Ooh, sorry about that. Huh. A golem tiger. Oh? You... Uh... You recognize it? Hmm. I used to race here, actually. Back with the first pocket circuit fighter. Whoa. So, my name's Muranaka. I'm a new fighter, employed by the pocket circuit company themselves. I'm... Well, as far as Pocket Circuit goes, I'm Kazuma. Kazuma-kun, huh? Pleasure to meet you. So if you knew this branch's first fighter, you must go back a while. I started in the Bubble Era. Must have been 30 years ago now. Whoa, that would have been the first boom period. Amazing. I'd have loved to have been there to see it. Is it true how popular it was back then? I'd say so. From what I recall, it really swept the country for a time. Then one day, the Kamurocho Stadium was gone. I'm surprised to see it come back now. Ah, oh, yeah, it, it did die down for a while, but recently there's been a surge of interest. The market's swelling again. On top of that, we have a new company president. He's a pocket circuit fanatic, apparently. I'm super into it. He came up with a bunch of innovative new mixed media strategies to get younger school kids back into RC racing. Hmm, that sounds effective. So, what made you want to be a pocket circuit fighter? Everything else aside, the cars. Pocket circuit cars fascinate me. Pocket circuit's popularity was waning by the time I got into it, but I didn't care. 
I'd spend every afternoon customizing my rig. All of my meager allowance went toward building the best machine I could. I didn't have friends at school, but eventually, I met people through Pocket Circuit. It was like finding my place in the world. Oh, it was so much fun in those days. I get it. That made you want to become a fighter. Yup. It was the fighter at my local branch who approached me when he saw that I would race alone. He helped bring me together with the other kids. I finally made friends. All thanks to him. That's the person I want to be. Someone who can help cheer up kids up when they're going through hard times. That's a true pocket circuit fighter. I think that's the right idea. You're a good fit. Except, this job's a lot harder than I thought it'd be. When it comes to pocket circuit tech, nobody knows more than me. And I just want to pass on that knowledge, teach kids the best customizations, support their curiosity. But when I try, oh, I can't get through to them. The kids all seem to hate me. Maybe I'm just not cut out to be a fighter. Now that I'm 30, it might be time to move back home. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? <laughs> no. It's just that back in my day, the fighter here was in a very similar position. He and I raced together a lot. I have nothing but good memories of him. It's been a long time, but I still consider him a close friend. You really had that kind of bond? Hmm. He was a great spokesperson for the hobby, and good with kids. Still, he had his share of troubles. The company never saw him as more than a disposable part-timer. When he had 30, he had a hard time staying with it. Wow. What did he do? He decided to remain a fighter. He loved Pocket Circuit. The kids loved him. In the end, he couldn't turn away from that love. The kids loved him, huh? <sighs> Makes me jealous. If I only had a better relationship with them, I wouldn't be so conflicted. Let me ask, what do you imagine the kids there want from you? Me? Well, I'm the pocket circuit fighter. They want me to teach them the best way to race, don't they? That's an important part of it. The fighter should be someone you can consult on builds. However, do you really think that's what children are looking for? Huh? You told me about the fighter who helped you as a kid, but you didn't mention his technical expertise. Did you decide to become a fighter because he made you a faster car? Did you idolize him because he taught you which tire set takes sharp turns better? Of course not. He meant the world to me because... When I had nobody, he rescued me from my loneliness. I think you understand now. What is it the children want from their fighter? You know the answer, don't you? Kazuma-kun. You're right. This whole time, I've been mistaken. Pocket Circuit might be a technical hobby, but that's not its heart. It can't be only about winning and losing. First and foremost, it's about having fun with your fellow racers. I can't believe I looked past something so obvious. Ah, oh, no wonder the kids hate me. It's not too late, you know. Right. I'm gonna find those kids. This time, I won't talk about wheels. I'll talk about feels. Pocket Circuit runs on love. Good. I'm sure they'll take to that lesson. Oh, thanks so much, Kazuma-kun. Fighter away! takes me back.
Like just yesterday. just yesterday. takes me back. This brings back memories. Yo, sick cart, short stuff. Is this limited edition? Yeah, I want one too. Hey, give it back. Huh? Don't be such a greedy brat. Well, you want to get hit? A premium model's wasted on some dumbass kids. I'll make this thing fly. But I spent my whole allowance on it. I don't care. Go away before I kill you. Don't move a muscle, you scum. 
Huh? Is that the nerd I think it is? Nerd? No! Try Pocket Circuit Fighter! And that's Kojiro-kun's car. Hand it over. <laughs> Shit! Pocket Jerk-Off Fighter's actually lecturing me! Why don't you crawl back into whatever boomer-ass manga they cribbed your outfit from? You know we'd put a car like that to better use than some moron toddlers. Don't you want faster races at your rinky-dink stadium? Are you nuts? As if I'd let anyone who mistreats kids race on my tracks. Pocket Circuit may be competitive, but it's not the fastest who wins the day. It's whoever has the most fun. You two blockheads don't deserve Pocket Circuit. Fighter. It's not safe here. Move along, please. But Fighter. Don't worry about me. Now go. Okay. Now, just you and me. Right. Listen up. You're dealing with the Pocket Circuit Fighter now. Uh, cheap shot! So, that's how it is? <laughs> hey, this nerd's literally as weak as he looks. <laughs> Look at you in that oversized chip bag! This fighter can suck my ass! For real? What kind of virgin devotes his whole life to toy cars? <laughs> Have your folks seen your dumb cosplay? <laughs> Go home! If your family ain't disowned you yet, maybe they can find you a real job! Fighter! Kojiro-kun's car... handed... over! Shut the fuck up! Ugh. Damn it! Uh, my race isn't run yet. <laughs> He's actually out cold. Let's teabag him. Hey. Huh? Ah! The, the hell? Who are you? Nobody besides a Pocket Circuit fan. You've both made a big mistake just now. Now be quiet and give me the card. What's up with him? You got some death wish, old man? Should we find out? Hell yeah, we should! Let's fuck this guy up! Booth seven. I'm ready. Here we go. Let's get it done! No begging for Try That should do it. Hmm? Uh, is that you, Kojiro-kun? Yes, it's me. Are you okay? Fighter! Yeah, I'll be alright. Are any of you hurt? Uh-uh. All because you protected us. Thanks so much. Fighter, you're so strong. We never knew. Huh? What? Me? Well, look. Those bullies are all knocked out. Oh, was that me? There's nobody else around. You're the coolest fighter. Um, I'm really happy you got my car back. Don't worry about it. It's a fighter's job to keep the racer safe. Fighter, you, you did all of this for us. After I said such mean stuff to you. I swear, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I promise, Kojiro-kun. I'm the one who's sorry. You only wanted to have fun customizing your kit. I tried to force my way of doing things onto you, but you never asked me to. I assumed you'd be happier if you won more often, but you were smart enough to know what matters to you. I was a crummy fighter. I forgot the most important thing about Pocket Circuit. Please, forgive me. Fighter! <sighs> hey, I know how to make it all okay. Let's race together. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Take us back to the stadium, Fighter. 
Ah, oh, yeah, of course. Um, I might need to buy a couple bandages first. Can you two go on ahead? Sure. <laughs> we'll wait for you there. Well done, fighter. You've really earned that title. Murunaka-kun! Hmm? Uh, President! Huh. No way. Of course. Fighter said the new president was a fanatic. I got a call on my pocket phone that a fighter was in a scuffle and rushed over. Are you alright? Oh, yeah. I'm just fine, sir. And no harm came to the children. I see. Well, thank goodness. You did the right thing protecting them, Uranaka kun Ha. Huh. Any fighter worth their stripes would do the same. Uranaka kun Something's different about you. Have you found some new motivation? Do you think so? Kazuma-kun's to thank, then, probably. Kazuma-kun? Yes, sir. He's a truly noble man, and a racer since the Bubble Era. I was beginning to doubt my value as a fighter. To be honest, Kazuma-kun heard me out and gave me advice fit for a sage. He opened my eyes, sir. How about that? Kazuma-kun. You say he helped you through a personal crisis? Yes, absolutely. May I ask, uh, it sounds like you might know him, sir? Hmm. He happens to be an, uh, an important old friend. Oh, I should have realized. Kazuma-kun mentioned knowing the first fighter. He called you a friend, too. He did, did he? If it's all right, sir, I should get back to the stadium. The kids are waiting for me. Hmm. And take care of yourself. Oh, Murunaka-kun. If you happen to see Kazuma-kun again, give him a message. I would love another race someday, friend. You got it, sir. I won't forget. See you again, Mr. President. You called me your friend, huh? Pocket Circuit sure is special, Cosmo-kun. If we, uh... If I ever see you again, let's laugh together. Let's cry, let's shout. Just like the kids do. Like we used to back then. Let's race, Cosmo-kun. Feels like just yesterday. Hey, Yuki. Oh, hey, Kiryu-san. So this is Forshine Tokyo, huh? Never imagined our club would make its way here. I think our tiny little cabaret that nearly went under would come so far. Sorry, I'm getting a little emotional. 
You were against explaining to Kanto, weren't you? Nah, I wasn't exactly against it. I just, you know, never found the courage. I was scared of failing and losing everything that we built. That's why I could never bring myself to do it. But Koyuki-chan's amazing. She knew the risks and still pressed forward. No matter the end result, this is a huge first step. Yeah, you're right. Yo, asshole! You really did a number on me last time. Who's he? A friend of yours? Does he look like a friend? A club's turnout on day one shows how it's gonna do in the future, so we figured we'd crash the party. <laughs> Yuki, stand back. What? You gonna stop us, Grandpa? I'd like to see you try. Come on, it's your bedtime. Let's beat him down. Nope. Allow me. done cleaning up the entrance. Let's take a look inside, Yuki. Okay! Hello! I'm sorry, we're not open yet. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! What? Yuki-san? Hey there, Koyuki-chan! I heard you were in a pickle, so I came to help out. Well, if that's okay, that is. Of course that's okay. Why wouldn't it be? But aren't you super busy with your restaurant? Well, about that. I'm not busy at all. I just wanted to look cool in front of you. I'm so, so sorry. Uh, wait. Really? Yeah, really. She had a lot of time on her hands. Ouch. Truth hurts. <laughs> Yuki-san! Whoa there! What's wrong? Nothing. I just... I just really, really wanted to see you. I was so lonely without you. Koyuki-chan! I wanted to see you too. You're doing great, you know. <laughs> hey, it's about time to open up shop, isn't it? Don't you need to get ready? Oh, right. Uh, Yuki-san, do you mind lending me a hand? Of Course I don't mind! Wow, after all these years, I can't believe I get to be a hostess again! Oh my gosh, I am so stoked! Come on, this way, Yuki-san! You just sit tight, Kiryu-san! All right. Sorry for the wait. <laughs> so, what do you think? Beautiful. <laughs> you look stunning, Yuki-san. Ah, with you around, it's like we've got a hundred girls working the floor. But today's the grand opening, right? If only we had another first-rate hostess here to really get things rolling. Hmm, but do we know anyone like that? Hmm, a first-rate hostess, huh? I might know someone. Huh? You do? That's great! Could you please, please, please ask her? Sure. I'll give her a call. I was wondering what's all the hurry, but I never expected you to call me over to a cabaret club. Who's this? A friend of mine, Saiko. She's the mama of her own club back in Yokohama. I'm Koyuki. Oh. Sorry for having you come all the way here, Saiko-san. And I'm Yuki. I've known Kiryu-san for pretty much forever. Yuki and... Koyuki? No way. Yuki-san and Koyuki-san as in the legendary hostesses of Four Shine? Sotenbury's number one cabaret club? Uh, yep. We sure are. Oh my 
God! Oh, this is incredible. I can't believe I'm meeting actual legends. I have read your cabaret management book over and over, Yuki-san. <laughs> Thank you. That's sweet. Now, when did you get published? Uh, it just happened to happen one day. Man, what was I even thinking? But hearing how someone read it from cover to cover makes me real happy. Um, anyway, today's our grand opening, Psycho-san, but we're a little short-staffed. I'm sorry this is all so last minute, but do you think you could help us out? We'll definitely pay you and all, so... Yes, of course, I'd love to. Oh, this would be such a great learning opportunity, and it's such an honor to work alongside you both. Awesome! Thank you so much! So, do we have enough hostesses? Yes, all thanks to you, Kiryu-san! But we still have one more role to fill. Hmm? What role? Boy, don't tell me. <laughs> wow, black really suits you, Kiryu-san. Just like old times, right? Sure takes me back. Ooh, you look real handsome. <laughs> Sorry, we don't have many guys working today either. I really appreciate you stepping in. Oh, hold up. You were a manager at Four Shine, Kiryu-san? How'd that happen? When you live as long as I have, you experience all sorts of things. I'm already dressed for the part, so I might as well go all the way. Let's make this a night to remember. <laughs> exactly! It's nearly opening time! Ready, ladies? Forshine Tokyo is open for business! Finally over. That was a great showing. As expected of the Kansai giant Forshine. Great work, everyone. Y'all did amazing out there. Oh, that goes for you too, Kiryu-san. And I really can't thank you enough, Yuki-san, Saiko-san. Thanks to everyone's efforts, we made it through the night. When I took over for Yuki-san, I didn't want people thinking Forshine was done for the moment it changed hands. That's why I kept pushing to expand to Kanto. But in the end, I just exhausted myself. Honestly, I feel awful for dragging you all into my mess. I wish I could have gone about it better. Yuki-san would have done a better job for sure. I'm really sorry for my incompetence. <sighs> Koyuki. What are you saying, Koyuki-chan? You attempted something I never had the courage to do. Just that by itself is amazing. I wouldn't have even gone for it. Like, yeah, it's true there are things I can do that you can't right now. But same goes the other way around. There are lots of things you can do that I can't even imagine. So you just keep doing you, Koyuki-chan, and give everything 100%. There's really no need to copy me. Not when you've got plenty going for you. Plus, you've got skill, trust me. So believe in yourself. I want you to shine bright as the star of your own show, all right? Yuki-san. Ah! <laughs> Yuki-san! Whoa! <laughs> She's amazing. I think I get why everyone calls her the legendary hostess. Yeah. Me too. Thank you all so much for today. You've got a handle on things now? Yeah, and I think the harassment will die down thanks to you, Kiryu-san. I'm gonna give it 100% for the sake of my precious foreshine. Come stop by again sometime. You too, Psycho-san. I'd love to. Keep at it, Koyuki-chan. 
I think I need to step up my game too. Gotta keep my restaurant afloat. By the way, what kind of restaurant are you running, Yuki-san? You never told me. Huh, she didn't? It's a Chirashi sushi place. Huh? But why sushi of all things? <laughs> oh, you know, you experience all sorts of things when you live as long as I have. Anyway, my business hasn't taken off at all, so I ought to learn from your example and do my best. Well, we can't have your restaurant go under. I'll visit you every day and have Chirashi for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. But don't worry about me, all right? Just focus on your club. <laughs> all right. Well, guess this is it then. You ladies take care. Wait! Uh, what's up? Since we're all here, why don't we do that thing one last time before we head out? That thing? Oh, right. That. Yeah, let's do it! You too, Saiko-san. How about it? That... Oh, that thing from the photo in Yuki-san's book. All right, fine. Might as well sign off with that. Okay, here goes. Let's wish each other all the best in our future endeavors. One, 